Hey everyone, quick video on why um, these little fuel return line gaskets are sim single use only on a lot of diesel engines, okay? Not just the 1KDs, we're not looking just 1KDs here, we're talking in general. So for the people that don't know, what are they? All right, what are they, what are they, what are they? Let's get in the picture so you can see what they are. Okay, leak back, leakage pipe, leak, whatever you want to call it, fuel return line keeps it simple. Because it's the, the, the line that the fuel's returning in. So I like to call it the fuel return line. But leak back pipe. So it sounds like you've got a leak though. See how that's squashed down? The head of the bolt's sort of squashed into that. And that's 16 Newton metres. That's factory. That's a brand new engine made by Toyota Manufacturing. Okay. Squashed in because these are actually copper. Nice soft gasket material. Okay, have a look at this one as well. I'm going to show you why. All right, see on the inside there? Might be hard to get the focus. All right. See that one there? So you can see the head where it's really, the head of the bolt's really squashed into it. So that gasket, that gasket is used. That gasket's used. So you can't use it again because it's already used. It's already squashed. It might not work. So that one, the head, same thing, right? These are expensive little suckers, about 15 bucks each. Um, but look, they're single use only, so you can't really cut corners and not, uh, not replace them. Sorry, but uh, you can see the evidence right there on all diesels engines. These are on most all, you know, whatever, where there's a situation like this, same as under the injectors, the copper washers, the copper gaskets, they're single use only. They squash down. Um, some people might be saying, oh, I'll, re I'll reuse them, whatever. Well, you know, good luck, mate. If you're Captain Risky and you just roll with luck, then that's what you do. We're here to tell you, I mean, at the end of the day, this fuel return line is under the valve cover. If it leaks, your engine oil starts filling up with oil. Fuel gets added to your engine oil. It's going to get smoky real quick and maybe some other symptoms and that. Some people have probably experienced that from some repairers, some workshops that have worked on their vehicle where there's been a leak. I'm not sure what they do wrong. If they're reusing them, they're over-tightening them, splitting them forgetting to tighten them up. Torque specifications, please, people. On the 1KD FTV, it's 16 Newton meters on the four injectors and 13 Newton meters the one at the back end of the head. They're a hollow bolt. You don't want to over-tighten them. Some torque specifications, people are giving out in excess of 20 Newton meters. It's wrong. 22 is wrong. 25 is wrong. 30 is wrong. It's all wrong. Okay, it's around 13 to 16 Newton meters. Even other engines are going to be very similar. Same or similar gaskets, same or similar fuel return line. Same banjo bolts, you know, hollow bolts, whatever. You're going to have the same situation. There you go. Quick video, full detail explanation, nice and clear. You can see the evidence right there. Don't be tempted to reuse them because, you know, on a brand new engine, even I get tempted and go, oh, look, you know, these are brand new. No, just sit, look at that and you just go, it's just not going to happen, mate. Can't do it. All right. Thanks for watching. If you want some other info, just subscribe and turn the bell on. And thanks for staying out of the video, the rest of the video, birds. Alright everybody, hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on. See you on the next one. Ciao.